Hello everyone and welcome back to another Fortnite Save the World video. Now today's video is going to be a little different. So in today's video we are going to be looking at the crossbow. Now you might be wondering why I'm looking at the crossbow because it's part of the military set and the military set is not currently out in the shop or anything but you can always research it from the collection book and you might be a little confused on why I'm making a video with this because you might have noticed that the crossbow has been in my third slot of my inventory a lot recently and you might be wondering well, isn't it a bad weapon? And the answer to that is it used to be. So if you look at this chart, I believe made by a uh, beast right here, this sniper had an increase. It doubled what its old damage was. Its damage used to be 158 base damage. Uh, and then that went up to 316. It completely doubled. Same with the heartbreaker. And these are basically identical weapons so i'm just going to show you with the crossbow but just know that it's basically the same with the heartbreaker and i'm pretty sure the heartbreaker can have a teeny bit more damage but it's not much of a difference now first off let's look at it it looks extremely amazing i love the look of this crossbow you have the holder right here and the compression and all this pulls back the scope it looks just absolutely amazing and so the perks i'm going to be running on my crossbow are damage reload, energy damage, damage, and then damage to miss monsters and bosses. And my sixth perk is headshot eliminations, causes an explosion damaging enemies within 0.5 tiles for 30% of weapon damage. And then I'm going to read down here, snipe rifle, crossbow, military, fires an arrow that drops over time and pierces through enemies. So this will pierce through multiple enemies. If you do have the heartbreaker, I would recommend changing this last perk to a damage. You can't do that on the crossbow. It's basically the same damage. There's barely any difference. Okay, so this is the build that I'm going to be running with the crossbow. Now, in Commander, of course, I have Redline Ramirez, so increase my sniper damage by 17% and fire rate by 45%. Then I have Blast from the Past, so remove all my shield and increase my max health by 200%. Then I have Sure Shot, so increase my sniper critical damage by 75%. Then I have Icy Shot, so sniper critical hits apply water affliction, dealing 21 base damage per second for 3 seconds. Locked and reloaded, so after reloading, increases weapon damage by 15% for 5 seconds. Switching weapon removes buff. Uh, then Saurian Hide, while my shield is depleted, increases armor by 33%, and Saurian Might. So every one second adds 3% of current health to damage the next range weapon hit, and these two will activate my blast from the past. Now of course, I have stationary hover turrets and adrenaline rush, and so let's jump right into a mission. Now to use this crossbow, I'm just going to jump into a 124 eliminate and collect mission. So let's go. Okay, so I'm in the mission and I'm crafting another crossbow. I already have one on me. The reason why I want a second one is so I can switch them like this. The crossbow by itself, for one, has four shots in the magazine, and the fire rate looks like this. Which isn't that fast. So switching between them will make it a lot faster. And so this is the reload speed of the crossbow, right here. Now, the fire rate would be a little bit slower, but I have redliner mirrors to help me have my fire rate increased. So let's show you the damage on these enemies. as you can see, we just like one shot all of them with this weapon. It's really high damaging. This weapon can hit in the millions now. It's insane how much damage it can do compared to what it used to do. So I want to try to take out this whole encampment just by using crossbows. Now this does pierce through multiple husks. I'm going to throw down some turrets too, just to help me, because this crossbow alone probably won't do that much. And as you can see, Mist Monster, it took three shots on that Mist Monster. It'll usually take around two or three. But yeah, you see this big crowd? I just shoot down it, and it just wipes down them. It's a really high damaging sniper now so as you could see from that is we absolutely destroyed them so this will do tons of damage to enemies and is one of the strongest like snipers in the game and i personally use it a ton i switch between using ar shotgun or any weapon 
and it's just my long range third uh, slot weapon that does high damage so I'll just be running shooting with my regular weapon they'll pull it out and I'll like snipe a big target it's just nice to pull out real quick and get some high damage off really fast so I have his energy so uh, if I wanted to do the optimal most damage I would have to lock it to an element for certain enemies but it's still doing 75% of its damage if you want to check out how all that works there'll be a link down in the description to uh, my element guide video and you can see there's an explosion there because I got a headshot which I'm not really aiming for the head so I'm getting mostly body shots and one hitting them which is really really impressive now I do see a fire smasher all the way over there so I'm gonna run over there and try to show you the damage on that fire smasher now I'm gonna try to wipe them from far away since this is a sniper okay so the smasher is at full health I'm gonna activate my war cry and let's see I'll take one two three four five six seven so that took seven shots but if i would have aimed for headshots it would have taken a lot less now let's heal up real quick and reload before i go out there and i fight some more enemies there's another encampment over here that i'm going to do with it i'll probably throw down my two turrets too while i'm doing it since there are a bunch of enemies over there but i shoot down a lion them and it gets a lot of them which is really impressive okay so uh they're killing me very quickly ah so that took two shots to get that miss monster right there but I'm just going to sit up here and snipe down at them. But we got that whole encampment done. And uh, I think I'm going to end the video around here. Where I'm just going to give a basic overview of this weapon. I absolutely love this weapon. It is like I always have it pulled out in one of my slots most of the time. And it's just an insanely fun weapon too. It just does high damage, insanely fun, looks amazing. I just love every single aspect about this weapon. So if you have a chance to pick it up or you have extra flux to go pick it up out of the collection book, I would 100% recommend that. Without any further ado, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Roll the outro. Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, please consider going down and hitting the like button down below. If you want to see more Save the World content from me, please consider subscribing. That will mean the world to me. If you want to see me live, you can go check out my Twitch channel. The link for that will be down in the description. You can jump over there and ask me any questions in chat and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. That will be it. Peace out.